Hey everybody, Diggs here. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest. We've had quite a nice few days off. A lot of you might not have seen the post yet about Bluestacks on Reddit. Uh, there is a new, better version of Bluestacks out there. Uh, two time from Reddit was able to figure it out. He actually came in stream the other day and helped me set it up. What we're going to be talking about in this video is how to set it up, some troubleshooting if you run into a couple of issues. Uh, Merlo and I both ran into issues and we're going to talk about kind of how we fix these problems. Uh, the link to the Reddit thread is going to be down below as well. We're also going to show you guys how to get 120 FPS out of your blue stacks, what I do before I stream, and how I kind of optimize the experience for the most fun. Get ready, let's go ahead and dig in. Now, if you are new to my channel, um, please hit the subscribe button. We're really close to 10K subscribers, and it's really important that we try and hit that. But let's go ahead and talk about this Reddit thread. So two time, um, I was really skeptical when I saw this thread. Uh, basically, it involves using an older version of Bluestack 64-bit uh, and kind of um, tweaking it just a little bit. It actually works pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to say it's like the holy grail of Bluestacks, right? Uh, I think no matter what, whenever you're running Bluestacks, it's going to crash at some point. It's going to be unoptimized, right? Like there's always going to be issues and an update can always break Bluestacks. That being said, I think this is the best iteration of Bluestacks that I've ever used so far, right? I've definitely still had crashes. The little Leela AI bug does crash, but in installing it and adjusting it, um, I have gotten it to work pretty well and I've been enjoying it quite a bit. So if you haven't already, make sure you go check out um, this Reddit thread. He goes into detail a lot about settings as well. Um, so if we scroll down here, uh, he's going to show you kind of what he's running, how many times he's run it. Uh, he's going to show you his setup. Uh, you'll see that he has a performance mode and OpenGL setup. Um, no ATC, and then he's running at 240 FPS. So we'll talk about how to break the frame rate cap uh, towards the end of this video. Um, and then this is also what he's got set up right now. Um, he did leave a mention here to go to his Discord. So if you guys do want to go to his Discord, make sure you go and check that out. Uh, if you have any problems as well installing this, you can leave a message on uh, my comment section down below and I can try and help you as well. Uh, so what are some of the problems and some of the troubleshooting that Merlo and I both experienced? Uh, for me in particular, it was that I had the Hyper-V version installed. Now, if you've been a member of this channel for a long time, you probably have the Hyper-V version of Bluestacks installed, which has been reasonably good, but it's still very crashy. And the first problem that I ran into when I tried to install this, it kept making Hyper-V variants and it kept auto installing the Hyper-V version of the game. Now, one of the other problems is you can't have other versions of Bluestacks installed when you are installing this. And uh, Merlo in particular had this issue where he kept installing it and then it wouldn't install correctly uh, and he couldn't figure out why. Um, one of the problems was there are other versions of Bluestacks that are not called Bluestacks on your computer, right? So if you've been trying out all the different emulators, uh, you might have what's called MSI emulator on your computer, which is another reskinned version of the Bluestacks emulator. So before you start to install this emulator, make sure that you have all versions of Bluestacks uninstalled from your computer. That's going to be beta. That's going to be Bluestacks 4. That's going to be Bluestacks 5. That's going to be, you know, uh, Hyper-V. Uh, if you are running Hyper-V in particular, uh, it is really important uh, that you go into your settings here, your Windows features. Uh, you can get to this by just going to search and going to Windows features and you turn off Hyper-V. Now, if you're like me, there are two settings to your Hyper-V. Uh, there's Virtual Machine Platform and there's Windows Hypervision Platform. Depending on the type of Windows that you're running, Virtual Machine Platform is connected to Windows Hyper-V. So you may have to turn both of these off depending on the version of Bluestacks or the, sorry, the version of Windows that you're running on your computer. So I disabled all of these because if you have these on, your Bluestacks is going to auto detect this and create a Hyper-V version of Bluestacks. Now, let's say that you do not want to uh, down, you want to still have your old version of Bluestacks, right? You still want to have like Bluestacks 5 beta, et cetera, et cetera. 
What you could do, and I know Merlo's workaround, was to download the 32-bit version of this patch, or, or of this version of Bluestacks, and then through the multi-instance manager, he created a 64-bit version that he could use. So that is one workaround you could use. For me, I just had to make sure that I deleted every single instance of Bluestacks in the game, and that's what really worked for me. I did experience crashes. Um, so one thing that I'm experiencing quite often with this is um, the title screen crash will crash you instantly. Uh, so there is kind of some title screen crashing going on, uh, at least for me. Uh, but overall, stability has been really good. Let's talk now uh, about how you can basically get into... Um, how you can basically get to 120 FPS because this can be a little bit confusing and I know people have asked me in the past. And so we're gonna go ahead and pull it up here. Um, you don't have to do this next part, but I do find that it does help. So before we jump into 120 FPS fully, uh, just a shout out if you are comfortable enough going into your reg edit, uh, make sure you go into your reg edit and go to Bluestack 64 down to Android and you click on the memory button right here and you can expand the memory for Bluestacks beyond 4,000. This will help you with the memory leak and it's one of those things that you just, you wanna do, it's gonna be really easy. You can see that I have um, 16, 1600 set for me, which is 4,000 because it's hexadecimal. Um, so make sure that you um, go and do this because it will make your Bluestacks run better and it will kind of delay that memory leak uh, just a little bit. So let's talk about um, how to get 120 FPS because I think a lot of people don't know and a lot of people ask me what the settings are on my Bluestacks and right now what we're looking at is a version of Bluestacks down here in the lower right hand corner that's getting about 43 FPS and the reason is because basically my Bluestacks crashed and I re-uploaded it and so let's go to my settings and I'll show you what my settings are right now. Um, so first off, if you want a really beautiful game, we're actually going to turn this up a little bit and <laughs> turn it up to its maximum value. Um, if you want a really beautiful game, if you come down here, you'll notice that I have it at uh, 240 FPS and enable high frame rate. Um, what you want to do is you want to, most of the time, you'll kind of see it like this, right? So when you start out blue stacks, it'll be like 30 FPS, not frame rate enabled. Um, so what you want to do is you want to start War of the Visions up. So I have War of the Visions up right now, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave it up. I'm not going to restart it. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to change War of the Visions frame rate down to 1. And this is one of those things where this is a little weird. Uh, so just stick with me. I'm going to save, and you're going to see that it's going to prompt me to restart. And that's because I did another change up here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just disable here. Forget that last change I made. We're going to change it to one FPS and you'll notice the game is slowing down substantially. We're going to close the game and then you have to close blue stacks. All right. And now you can see, uh, the game is closed. Blue stacks is closed. We are going to start up my 64 bit version of blue stacks again, and we'll give it just a little bit of time. All right, we're in. We're going to start up War of the Visions. Now, what's going to happen is it's going to be really low because you see in the lower left-hand corner, uh, it's running at 1 FPS. So we go back into Engine. We scroll all the way down. And now we enable high frame rate. And then we move it all the way up to 240. Hit Save, Exit. And you're going to notice all of a sudden it's shooting up to 120, 180, 200 down in the lower left-hand corner because it's tracking the FPS. So now we're going to go into the game and it's going to say, do you want to continue your battle? And I'll say yes. Hopefully it'll ask me to continue my battle. <laughs> that or we're going to get a start screen crash here and it's just going to be painful. Um, so we did get a start screen crash, it looks like. So we're going to go ahead and restart and re-enter. And it's going to think, it's planning. And you'll notice that um, now the FPS is hovering pretty good still. It's still 193, 140. Um, you only really need to reset the frame rate, I believe, if you do close the emulator. So we're going to go ahead and return to the match. 
So if you do like disconnect or something, you do not have to, you can just restart Wotiv. And you can see here it's running at 60, 99, 94, and you can see how smooth the game is currently at. It's running at about 100 FPS right now. And this is how you set it up to run very beautifully, right? Um, so this is kind of like Blue Stacks Ninja Secrets. It's not really a secret anymore, but I do get a lot of people asking about it. So I did want to also talk about it in kind of the video and show you guys what version of Blue Stacks I'm using now because I'm no longer using the Hyper V. Uh, if y'all are having any problems with this or have any questions, uh, feel free to go ahead and ask down in the comments section below. Uh, I will try and answer them. I am not a Blue Stacks expert um, as much as I wish I was. Um, <laughs> but I will try and help you out as much as possible. As always, everybody, if you do want to support me, uh, make sure you use my affiliate link, dig.gs coins. And as always, have a great rest of your day. Please hit that subscribe button. We are so close to 10 K subscribers. I would love to see us nail it. Thanks so much and see you guys later.